Okay. Part D asks, the simple radio receiver has two major disadvantages, which are poor selectivity and poor sensitivity. It then asks you to explain what both terms mean. So, poor selectivity is the, remember, just remember this term, is the inability to reject neighbouring stations. This means when you have a frequency coming in with other stations, other radio frequencies quite close by to it, this receiver is unable to specifically target that one radio station it wants without getting interference from the other stations. If, if it were to happen that a bigger star question came up that was worth say four or six marks, you may need to elaborate on that and say this means it's unable to select one specific radio station without interference from the other. However in this case it's just one mark for each thing so you just say these, just remember these simple terms and you should be alright. The next part is poor sensitivity. And poor sensitivity is the inability to pick up stations that are quite weak, they have lower power. So you just, you just then remember this in the same terms, it's the inability to pick up weak stations. And you can change that, you can say inability to pick up lower power signal or different things like that. And again, if you wanted to elaborate on that, you could say it's the inability to um, pick up things, um, radio frequencies that have travelled a long way and have lost a lot of power or that haven't been transferred with that big power to start with. Things like that that you might need to say to add a couple of marks onto it. The last part is related to this, is part E, and it says, what is the name of the radio receiver which has better selectivity and sensitivity compared to the simple radio receiver? And that one, just done in class and in the notes and stuff, and that's called the super heterodyne receiver. Now they may ask, different things such as the super heterodyne receiver has better selectivity and better sensitivity compared to the simple radio receiver explain what these terms mean and if it were to ask that you can't say selectivity is the inability to reject neighbouring stations you have to say selectivity is the ability to reject neighbouring stations and things like that just to make sure that what you're saying is in context with what they're asking and you're not just remembering this and copying it down.